You ever notice how every new Samsung update promises smoothness, battery life, and AI magic, but only a few actually feel different? Well, this time it does, because One UI 8 isn't just a visual refresh, it's Samsung quietly reshaping how your Galaxy feels in your hand every single day. Hey everyone, Alex here, welcome back to Smart Reviews. I've spent the last week living with One UI 8 on my Galaxy S25 Ultra, and it's the kind of update that sneaks up on you. At first you think, okay, just another yearly skin, but then you start to notice the tiny things, how the wallpaper shifts with daylight, how multitasking feels freer, how the phone finally starts doing less to feel like it's doing more. Let's dive right in. The first thing you'll see after updating is dynamic wallpapers. These aren't your standard static backgrounds, they subtly evolve throughout the day. Mornings feel bright and fresh, evenings melt into softer tones. It's small, but it's mood changing. You no longer unlock your phone to a blast of light at midnight. It actually matches your rhythm. Samsung took Apple's time aware wallpapers idea and gave it a calmer, galaxy twist. Then there's the shifting clock on the lock screen. Instead of being locked in one corner, it moves around your wallpaper's subject automatically. Like it knows not to cover your pet's face or that perfect vacation shot. It's the kind of thoughtful detail you never asked for but immediately appreciate. Now brief, that card feed you probably ignored, is suddenly worth another look. Samsung added parking spot reminders and YouTube integration, so it's finally useful in real life. You finish shopping, forget where you parked, boom, now brief has your back. Little things that make you feel the software's thinking with you, not against you. Cameras also got smarter, not just faster. Swipe up behavior now opens quick controls, letting you toggle megapixels, timers, and shooting options instantly. It's faster, cleaner, and feels like Samsung took notes from professional camera UIs. For creators and quick shooters, it's a subtle but welcome tweak. Split-screen multitasking has leveled up too. You're no longer locked to awkward 70-30 splits. One UI 8 lets you go as far as 90-10. On big-screen phones like the Fold or Ultra, that's game-changing. You can finally give one app dominance while keeping another ready for quick reference below. It's fluid, snappy, and it genuinely feels like multitasking the way it was meant to be. Then comes the weather widget, completely reanimated. Rain actually falls, clouds drift, the sun glows softly. No, it won't change your day but it makes checking the weather a tiny bit more delightful. And sometimes that's what UI design is all about. A personal favorite of mine is AuraCast Broadcasting. You can now share your phone's audio with a friend's earbuds or headphones. No messy pairing. Just start a broadcast, your friend scans a QR code, and they're instantly listening to the same song, podcast, or movie. It's pure wireless convenience done right. QuickShare also got a visual overhaul. It's cleaner, with separate send and receive tabs, and supports sharing multiple file types, photos, videos, docs, all in one go. Think of it as airdrop but with more control and less confusion. Samsung Health got more social. You can now create fitness challenges, set step goals, distance runs, or time limits, and compete with your friends. It's small, but it makes the app feel alive again, like a fitness community rather than just a tracker. Over in the gallery, screenshots now auto, organized by category, shopping, boarding passes, locations. So you can finally find that random reference photo from 2022 without scrolling for hours. And the My Files app follows suit. Downloads are categorized by where they came from Chrome, Drive, email, and so on. It's cleaner, smarter, and it cuts down the hunt time drastically. The calendar and reminder apps finally feel unified. Adding an event or a reminder happens in one place. No more switching between two icons. You can drag reminders between days, create checklists with sub-tasks, even attach photos or locations. It's the kind of seamless organization Samsung users have been begging for since forever. And then, routines. My favorite part of One UI 8. They've added a discover section filled with pre-built routines. So even if you've never used them before, you can jump right in. Want your phone to go silent at work? Turn on battery saver when you hit 20% or switch wallpapers at sunset. It's all pre-made, you just toggle and go. Plus, there are new thin actions, so you can chain commands for even deeper automation. Basically, tasker level control without the headache. After a week with One UI 8, here's my verdict this isn't a flashy headline, grabbing update, it's a living one. It breathes smoother animations, calmer visuals, and more intelligence into your daily routine. It feels like Samsung's software is finally maturing, less about gimmicks, more about comfort and flow. Battery life, at least on my S25 Ultra, has held steady. Performance feels a touch snappier, transitions are cleaner, and even with the new features, nothing feels bloated. It's refinement done right, Samsung listening instead of shouting. So if you haven't gotten the update yet, keep an eye out, it's rolling out to the S25, S24, and soon the rest of the Galaxy lineup. And when it lands, take your time to explore. The best parts of One UI 8 aren't the ones Samsung advertises. They're the ones you quietly discover after a few days of use. That's it for today's breakdown. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to stay ahead of every major Galaxy update, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell. I'm Alex, this is Smart Reviews, and I'll see you in the next one, where we'll see if One UI 8.5 takes things even further.